Neon is the 10th element on the periodic table and belongs to the noble gas group with an atomic weight of 20.18. Neon is colorless under normal conditions, but when electrically charged, it emits a bright reddish orange glow, which is what gives neon signs their characteristic appearance. This process is called gas discharge. The electricity adds energy to the neon atoms' electrons, exciting them. After a brief period, the electron energy returns to its normal levels or ground state, and the excess energy is released in the form of light. As a noble gas, neon is chemically inert and extremely stable, making it unreactive with most elements. Like other noble gases, neon's lack of reactivity is due to its full valence electron shell, which makes it highly unlikely to form bonds with other elements. Also unlike fluorine or other reactive elements, neon exists in nature as a monatomic gas, meaning it does not form molecules with itself or others under normal conditions. Neon was discovered in 1898 by British chemist Sir William Ramsey and Morris Travers while they were studying liquefied air. They isolated neon by cooling air to a liquid state and then slowly warming it up to separate the gases. Neon, along with krypton and xenon, were identified through this process. The name neon comes from the Greek word neos, meaning new. Today, neon is primarily extracted from the atmosphere through a process called fractional distillation of liquid air. Though it only makes up about 0.0018% of the Earth's atmosphere, it is present in sufficient quantities for commercial extraction. Neon is rare on Earth, but it's actually the fifth most abundant element in the universe, commonly found in stars where it is produced by nuclear fusion. Neon's most iconic use is in neon signs, where its distinct red-orange glow is employed for advertising and artistic purposes. The gas is contained in glass tubes and illuminated by passing an electric current through it. However, neon's applications extend beyond signage. It is also used in high-voltage indicators, vacuum tubes, and lightning arresters. It also is useful as a refrigerant in cryogenic applications due to its ability to remain liquid at extremely low temperatures.